Hello and welcome to Outside Xbox, you're watching Show of the Week, I'm Andy. And I'm Mike. This week I've been here, in the office, doing my job as required by my contract. You are right, Mike, you seem a bit... off, somehow. Please turn tape to side two. I'm fine. Whew, well that's a relief. This is really weird. Andy, I'm glad you asked. As a matter of fact, I've been playing Forza Horizon 4. Actually, I, I didn't ask. I... And I recorded this video about it. Hello, sorry, not sorry that I can't be at the studio today, but I am at the Horizon Festival. Uh, as you can probably see, there's a big tent behind there. There are some more tents in there for glamping, which as I understand it is camping, only you don't freeze to death. Um, and yeah, we're here at the Goodwood Estate, home of the Festival of Speed, now home to the Horizon Festival. Uh, and we've been doing a lot of exciting activities, including um, going in a rally car. through the four seasons, which was a pretty surreal experience, um, including actors playing frisbee over the rally car for the summer bit, and some dude sweeping up leaves next to the uh, autumn stage, and getting pretty close to those rally cars, actually. I don't think I'd fancy that at all. Later on, uh, we'll be racing a hovercraft against a pickup truck, like you do. Also, uh, driving some Land Rover Defenders around. I'm hoping I'll be able to drive one directly through a dry stone wall, like in the game. Uh, and if not, I'm going to be very upset. But yeah, so we played a bit of the game as well. Obviously, it's launching now-ish, uh, and it's very exciting. Absolutely the best Forza Horizon game that's been out yet, and they've all been pretty good. Uh, I feel like I'm slightly biased because it's set in the UK, um, and it's the country of my birth. It's the roads I'm most familiar with. There's a very convincing smart motorway there with the variable speed limit which was a lot like my drive here it's a wonderful uh, recreation of our our scepter dial turn around when it is safe to do so one thing you should know about the game is that actually the first hour or so is just one season then you have the other three seasons autumn winter and spring and then it returns to summer and then the game properly sort of opens out and becomes that kind of multiplayer thoughts the thing you're you're expecting um so it's, it's very sort of very long kind of prologue intro bit which i don't know how people are going to find that but i think most people will enjoy it because actually the multiplayer thing is almost a bonus really uh, it's not so much the the kind of priority and because it's completely seamless you'll, you almost won't notice you're, you're kind of your world is populated by driver tars until that point but um it only really opens out and becomes the sort of full multiplayer test drive unlimited style experience a bit later into the game but it doesn't matter because you'll be being kept busy throughout with amazing showcase events i mean the first showcase events brilliant fun it's jumping a bugatti chiron through a through a windmill you just line it up floor it and pray Hey, eyes forward. Ignore the camera. Try to look heroic. And the first couple of cars you get as well, are, are, there's some really fun like off-road cars and things. Very uh, clear sort of um, split between the kind of dirt and the um, track stuff and maybe the, the sort of illegal street racing. Um, 
which is nice because it, you know depending on what you prefer you get some really nice sort of bespoke rally cars and things early doors like the Cosworth um, and then yeah the seasonal stuff is brilliant you know if you if you're driving around the, the slate quarry in autumn it'll be wet at the bottom and there'll be actual water and stuff and then if you're driving through there in summer it'll be dry and it's it, just those little things modify how you can negotiate the terrain and the levels of grip you'll be dealing with and often what car you'll want to choose just for commuting around the world not just in the races so it's really interesting i mean they the tagline is seasons change everything i don't know if they change everything but they change a lot like it's a very different experience and what i quite like about it is in forza horizon 2 and 3 if it rained it was just a, like a rainy day on your holiday basically it was kind of a, a bit of a buzzkill whereas because this is a seasonal shifting thing there's each one feels sort of you know summer is baking hot and and sort of lovely weather and then winter is you know very cold and snowy and, and so it's, it's a lot more defined and it feels a bit less sort of a, of a halfway house right well there are some supercars behind me i think it would be rude not to have a go so that's what i'm going to do i you know it's really it's a hard job you know but probably you know i'm just a, a great guy who's prepared to take that sacrifice hope you're having fun in the studio have you noticed anything weird about Mike lately? Like what? Like, he kept going on about Forza Horizons Festival at Goodwood, mm -hmm. and then he asked to borrow a balloon and a box and some sellotape. Oh, yeah. And now he hasn't moved from the sofa in two days, and keeps going on and on about the same thing. Yeah, occasionally he's just been singing the entire second half of Michael Jackson's Thriller album. Yeah, exactly. Oh well, at least before he went weird, we did manage to record your challenge of the week. Ugh, don't remind me. I won't. Except for right now, when I will, when we watch it. Oh. All right, Mike, I'm ready for my show of the week challenge. Yes. What are we doing? Uh, this is Forza Motorsport 4. Okay. Uh, so the Horizon <laughs> series wasn't not Horizon. the first time that Forza let his hair down. Uh, I have a challenge for you, a car yeah. football challenge. Okay. Oh, look, it's like Rocket League. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I want you to score a goal, but I'm not going to let you just walk it in. What? Uh, oh, I no. want you... I it was going to be easy. <laughs> I want you to score... Uh, from a handbrake turn, and I, the ball needs to be outside the area, so that's a good place for it to be. Uh, is that a handbrake turn? No, you're going to no. need to press the A button What's a handbrake? handbrake turn. <laughs> right, okay, so for a start... What's a brake? I think I might have the handbrake on, this car feels quite slow. Uh, it's a Citroen oh. C1. It's an almighty 86 horsepower beast. And right, so all I have to do... is a simple handbrake is, turn. So let me get this out of the corner Yeah, just first. ram it into the and wall. And you've got 10 oh. minutes. Oh no, <laughs> <laughs> that's a good start. Is this physically possible, Mike? Have you done this? It is physically possible, yes. You claim to have done this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, okay. I'm the greatest driver of all time, Andy. I'm sure you know that. Yeah, well, okay. Look at that handbrake turn. Is that a J turn? That was... No, J turn's where you reverse and then handbrake turn huh. and then spin round and carry on going. Okay, all right. If you can I'm... do one of those in score, <laughs> I'll allow it. Okay, you can allow me to do a J turn. <laughs> Yeah. All right, I need to get it back up the pitch. So, I what? would get it into a good yeah, position Yeah, you can just dribble first. it down the pitch. Yeah, okay. Car dribble it. Okay, car dribble. Car dribble. Yeah. <laughs> Did you... Yeah, that's what my Sounds producer like when is whenever he plays <laughs> Forza Horizon. Yeah. You can cribble it. Cribble yeah. it down the, down the pitch. Cribble. Okay. Such ball control. Yeah. Yeah, it's amazing. Beautiful. It's like yeah. it's glued it's like to your... It's glued to you, <laughs> to your bonnet. <laughs> okay. Did this come out before Rocket League? It did. Did Forza invent Rocket League? Forza <laughs> did not invent Rocket League. <laughs> you heard it here okay. first several years later. All right, Andy. Perfect positioning. Okay. So you're going to line it up. Yeah, and now a simple case of backing up. Yep. Yeah, All getting a good run up. The, pitch. the more speed you can get, the better, yep. really. Because yeah. you need the carry to carry oh. the momentum. Okay. okay. You've got eight minutes. Well, the we'll car's got a bit invisible, yep. but I think it's fine. It will come back. <laughs> Right, ready. And now I'm going wide. Yeah. yeah. And then handbrake. Uh. Into the goal. Where is it? Where is it? That was that Show was us. more the front Show of you. <laughs> what? That was, was a that goal. Come on, that was a goal. But that Does was that the count. That was the front of your car. It needs to come off the back of your car. It needs to come off the back of my oh. car. That's how a handbrake turn works. Moving the goalpost. That was good. <laughs> I mean, no, the goalpost. That's the one thing I've not changed. <laughs> the goalpost remained there. <laughs> All right, so I'm not allowed to hit it with the side or the front. The side ish is okay, but just not the front, because that's the area where you've got the most control. I need you to hit it with the area where you've got the right. most okay. control. Right. I see what okay. you're saying. But that was a good first effort. Do you understand okay. what he's saying? <laughs> I think so. Okay. I mean, I couldn't do it, but I think I get what he's aiming at. Okay, let me try just... Try for a Let me try propelling yeah. the ball forward okay. with my car. With the back of your car. Yeah. yeah. The side of your car. And... Huh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Went nowhere no. near. I need more speed, I think. So this is what's a uh, four. Yeah. And they're playing on the 360, because incredibly, it's not backwards compatible. No, because... 
Uh, because of car licensing, right? Because so all the, all the licenses licensing. run out. Yeah. Um, funnily enough, you can't buy Forza Horizon 2 anymore because of that. You really? can't, literally just can't buy you can't it. can't buy it anymore. Wow. If, you, if you already own it, you can re-download it, yeah. but you can't buy it, which is a shame because it's a really good game. <laughs> and the manufacturer's factory. like, we just can't stand to see our car in such retro <laughs> Maybe. I think it's just they have timed yeah. licensing. Yeah, yeah, it's not uh, indefinitely. That was a bit... A bit more like it. Yeah, that was, the front that was like end. the front door. But it was like yeah. the front door, wasn't it? it was so like... you're going to have to drive alongside it and then cut across, I think. Oh, and, okay. And... So pull up alongside it and then cut across. Yeah. Okay. Is what you, Mike thinks. Okay. Right, I think that's the way side. to do it. All right. Did you pick this car for me? Yes. Why couldn't I have had a Lambo? Because it's <laughs> it's even harder with that because you're just no, going it's... faster and it's harder to control. <laughs> Be good though. What you need is like um like a snowplow on the front of your car. Yeah, yeah, or a big cow catcher. Yeah. Mechanical leg that kicks. <laughs> big mechanical. I noticed leg. you were using the reverse cam a minute ago. Mm. Oh, yeah. No yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep that in mind for when you do it because I don't want to miss You don't want to miss the sweet doll. Thing yeah. Aerosmith once sang. They were yeah. talking about this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when, I don't want to miss Andy's sweet You can get it a bit further, closer if you want. I don't need to, Mike. This oh, okay, is so this one's going in, is it? Yeah, this one's going in. Okay. Just the one. And then J turn. Uh, pretty wow. much, not bad. Yeah, yeah it's yeah, just it's about awesome. a J turn. It's a lowercase just about J turn. Lower case J -turn. <laughs> I'm in this tent since England had the, all those penalties that time. <laughs> all right, let's go. All right, Jane. Sports reference. Football fan, Jane. Coming out. Yeah, sports. Cutting inside and handbrake. Right. Oh no! Oh no! Okay, oh, if no. we'd done that, but over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It would have. It would have been fine. I did a good uh, loop around it. Now. Oh, this one's good. Yeah. Yes. Boom. All right, show us. Show no. us. Oh, good though. We yeah. Good though. It's still a bit fun. Fronty, but you're a fronty. <laughs> you're a fronty to the nature. This car is not meant for handbrake turns, Mike. How are you at Rocket you. League? I'm great at Rocket League. Oh, okay. Because you can do flips well, you and You can drive nitro. right up that fence if you have a Rocket League. Yeah, you don't have a it. small Citroen yeah. family runabout. <laughs> meant for doing a the Tesco run. family car, yeah. Yeah. You wouldn't even get a family in there, to be oh, honest. Just a simple. Yeah. Yeah. Cribble it. Crib just, <laughs> just cribble it. Cribble it there. Yep. And then... Off the bonnet. No, not off the bonnet. Off the... Yeah. Little handbrake. More speed, right? More wind up. Yeah, you need big speed. You need big more speed wind up, but you won't get enough. Speed. So, is there any thoughts of football in Forza Horizon 4? No, not that I'm aware of. No. Uh, you can race against a hovercraft. Yeah. That's a thing. Can you still punt hay bales around? Those like yes. cylindrical hay bales? Yes, you can That's absolutely good. do Didn't that. Didn't we once do a challenge for show of the week that was like racing hay bales? Do you remember yeah. that? Oh, was it a Christmas challenge there was a maybe? Far, there was a farming simulator thing we did. No, 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 it was definitely a car. We definitely drove cars mm, okay. and used them to roll, to roll cylindrical hay bales. hay bales. I remember that. I guess yeah. I guess I'll have to look it up after yeah, we've right. done this challenge. Is it a GTA thing? No, or? no, 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 it's very, no, it's definitely a Forza. All right. It's definitely a Forza Horizon. Okay, okay, let's watch this. This is going to be amazing. All right. And now... The music's there for you, Andrew. Handbrake. Handbrake. Yeah. Handbrake. Yeah. Oh, oh, no. So close. So close. So close. Oh, my God. So All right. That was right. You've oh, got, God, I've only got two minutes and 45 minutes. Just shy of three minutes left. Come on. At least I don't have to reset the wall because I completely yeah. missed yes. it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, better to completely miss it. All right, Andy. Focus up. End the game. Yeah. Uh, further right again, and too early. I I think. Yeah, too yeah. early. Yes. I'm going to get the maximum. <laughs> I'm going in the goal to get the maximum run up. All right, okay. maximum run up. Oh, it's a bit. It's a bit floaty. Oh. This Citroen mm. Saxo. Tell Citroen that they made the car. All right, Citroen, if you're watching. All right. <laughs> you're, you can race these your cars. Cars are too transparent. Yeah. Did you ever consider the car football? All right. When you made your All car, right, okay. I don't think so. Right, focus up, Andy. And now, okay. handbrake. And That's good. Is it going in? Is it going in? Is it going in? Ah! Oh! oh! That's oh! right. One minute 43 right, to go. Friends. All right. Check me out. Very What's good, Andy. Save goal. that replay. Yeah, yes. save replay. There you are. Here we go. There right. I am. Now, if we put this in slow motion and get like a copyright free sound alike of Chariots of Fire. Uh -huh. Right, okay. This With is you. Gonna, yeah, this is going to look amazing. Okay. Yeah, there look I go. This run up. Look at this run up. There's Andy. In my little Woo! citrus. Oh, no. oh, <laughs> Bonk it off the wall. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> all right, it's everyone. All fine. All right, I remember you reversing right into the goal. Yeah. yeah. There we go. Oh, not very well, not though. Not directly. <laughs> yeah. And then I went invisible. And then you turned into a ghost. Yeah. Because your yeah. driver died. My driver died. <laughs> <laughs> when you die in a car, the car also dies. <laughs> and here we go. For here the we go. Up. Want to right. run out? Oh, my heart yep. restarted. All right. And then I remember you veered a little to the right. Yeah. Just a, a little smidge. And then I yeah. gave it the BAM! Oh, look at that. Nice. Uh, and then beautiful. you drove away. Celebratory oh, no. donut. And then, then I drove, drove into a wall. <laughs> <laughs> and died again. Hooray! Hooray! Back to the CDO. 
And now it's time to see what's written in the YouTube comments and what the lovely viewers of Outside Xbox who came to gaming convention EGX gave us this past weekend. Loads of stuff. We've got cross stitch, we've got Lego minifigs of our D&D characters, we've got a big bag full of Japanese Kit Kats and M&Ms. Where are the Japanese Kit Kats and M&Ms? There were never any Japanese Kit Kats and M&Ms, Andy. You're imagining things. So you're literally eating a sake flavoured Kit Kat right now. Such an imagination. Really, I envy you. Okay, well, let's start this week with your comments on our latest D&D adventure in which we took on a shushy colt and made friends with an owlbear. What if they don't do capturing? What if they just do killing? But quietly, we all improvise. My, my idea yeah. is to... <laughs> <laughs> Right. Take it as given that I'm whispering. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's right, probably let's fair. Do that. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Commenter Alpha Deathclaw is pleased that Jane saw sense and says, I love the fact that everyone was actually whispering and not realising that they could just pretend to whisper. Lol, thanks Jane. Yeah, thank you. I was just immersing myself in the story. Yeah, well I was immersing myself in people being able to hear what we were saying. Well, some characters' actions spoke louder than words, such as my cool pirate character Corazon, who commenter Aaron CCS points out, is now slightly more of a threat. Finally buffed Corazon, otherwise it'd just be him and his rope looking sad while everyone is kicking butt. Stickle Wait, grease. I cast the spell Grease. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> One of my new yes. spells. <laughs> That's right, I've got three spells now, including Grease and one that makes disco lights. Yeah, just a shame that everyone else levelled up as well, which as commenter Grits note, now makes Meryl Wen legitimately terrifying. Remember the first time Meryl Wen fought someone when she tried shooting them in the knee to incapacitate them? And now she bear mauls people and melts them with moon fire. I think she's been hanging around Prudence for too long. Haha, <laughs> how silly. Right. I mean, my character Prudence does of course emit an ambient field of evil that corrupts everyone who comes into contact with it. Yes. But I'm sure that's just a coincidence. Indeed. Well, let's move on then to the comments on this video in which we looked at your suggestions for heroes who lived long enough to become the villain. So let that be a lesson to never pick up and wield the cursed rune blade Frostmourne, for just as the blade rends flesh, so must power scar the spirit. You're literally holding Frostmourne right now. Am I? Oh man. I guess I am. Busted. A lot of people slightly concerned with you getting your hands on the cursed runeblade Frostmorn, Jane, such as commenter Mukjethro Povti, who says, Jane, stop holding Frostmorn. You'll corrupt the cursed sword. Not everyone is equally concerned, however, such as commenter Seth Neville, who says, See, Jane's heart is so pure that it is utterly incorruptible even by Frostmorn. No further questions answered, Your Honor. Cue sound of Frostmorn whimpering in the background. Yeah, pretty sure I haven't heard any whimpering. Yeah, right, because that sword knows what's good for it. Okay. You're given the chance to face off against your character from the original Pokemon games, who now spends all his time stood on top of a mountain doing nothing. Finally, on the topic of Pokemans, commented Dion Spates would like to assure us that Red is just the silent type. Hmm, is that like grass type and flying type? Yeah, I assume so. It's super effective against loud type. Man, Pokemon is confusing. Mm. Finally this week, your comments on last week's show, which looked at WWE 2K19 and faced Mike off against an AI wrestler version of me in a vicious backstage brawl. I don't notice how all the highlights <laughs> are, are me DDTing you. Yeah, or us just DDTing each other to back and forth DDTs. I mean, it's, <laughs> it's a classic move. All DDT, all, all the time. DDT, all the time. All the time. Uh, Wait, what, we're pretty... what, for the people at home and me, what is a DDT? <laughs> that, that is a DDT. No, but what does it stand for? Uh, it's something... Doesn't stand for anything. No. Fine. Wait. On the topic of what DDT stands for, after all, we had many fine suggestions, including this one from commenter Kyle Erickson. DDT equals don't do that. Well, Hebrewhammer86 says, DDT stands for don't destroy tables. This isn't a table match, and tables aren't cheap. And commenter Sarfak Pratik adds, dichlorodiphenyl trichloroethane. What? I'm an engineering student. Oh, guess that's that then. Hey, let's watch you guys fight again. That was fun. Oh, too late. Oh, I'm, oh, 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 I'm in the office. Send you right into you? the office of whoever's in charge. Oh, no. Can I pick up that chair and smash it over pick your head? Up the you pop can, plan. yeah. I hit you in the head with a briefcase. Smash it with a pop Yeah, plan. you can do all of that stuff. Too late. DDT on the office floor. But commenter Bailey Alexis Snow was less impressed and says, Not gonna lie, guys. Kinda disappointed Mike and Andy didn't actually fight backstage. Relieved, but yes, still disappointed. See, Andy? The people demand it. Do I have to? Yes. Hey, take Rasmorn. Oh, man, so heavy. Yeah, it's not fair to you. And oh. you, Frostmourne, no sobbing. 
that's it for Show of the Week, thanks for watching, but before you go, why not press the bell icon down there next to the subscribe button? Has all the benefits of a real bell, with none of the annoying bell sound, right Mike? Oh, it's like that, is it? What do you call me? Right, have at you. Glad Jane lent me this rune blade. Thanks for watching everyone, we'll see you next time. Get you. All right, Mike, let's do this. Yeah. Oh my God. Uh, uh, John, John, stop filming. You gotta help me hide the body. We're in this together now. It's you and me. Oh, the legs have come off. All right, quick.